your call. What's the first elimination tattoo? The subject matter will be the seven deadly sins. Ooh. We'll be doing this in black and gray. We will be using our shaders only. I'm feeling really good about this tattoo, and whether I have a liner or not, I will deliver. Not around, huh? No, nah, man, I'm here for 100 grand. They should be scared. Megan. In perfect placement of the highlight and the pupil, it works incredibly. Using a shader and pulling off all these tricks, I can't wait to see you work with a liner. Thanks. This week, you are calling the shots. Oh, okay, come on, let's do it. What is the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're gonna be tattooing my favorite, comic book characters. Oh, dude. The catch is, uh. you have to capture your canvas's likeness in the comic book character. Oh. What's your guy's special power? A uh, combat medic with angel wings to be able to fly in and rescue other soldiers. I've never taken my client and actually put them into the tattoo, but I'm an artist, so. I don't have anything to worry about. The other artists should definitely not underestimate me. This one's gonna rock. Yes. It hits on all cylinders and it does exactly what the challenge is asking for. I was bullied my whole season and now my very first canvas is an anti-bullying woman. I'm extremely thankful for being given another chance to come out and Absolutely. prove my worth because I know what kind of a competitor I am, but it's tough. You're golden. Sausage, let's start with you. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? A comic book character that helped identify with no bullying. Foreshortening in the tattoo speaks to the superhero. You give it that exaggerated hand and the punch. Overall, it's a sticker. You did a great job. Yeah. Anthony. <sighs> what comic book character did your canvas want to be? He really wanted to portray a military medic. I like this tattoo a lot. The drawing is awesome. There's a couple areas where I really get that comic book feel from, and a lot of that is that hatching in some of the shading. And then in terms of just details, like particularly in the scarf, going over each one of those folds in that fabric is so intensely amazing. So far, I like everything I've seen you do. You've been consistent, that's what it takes. To just run this thing to the end. I think you did a hell of a job. I won the flash challenge, now I'm gonna win the elimination tattoo. I got so much detail in this tattoo, there is not one single person crazy enough to do it like I'm doing it. Give me any style, I'm gonna rock it. Clean. This tattoo has so much detail that it looks like I could take my finger and run it across and I would feel all the bumps and I would feel all the ridges. For me, I just wanted to have a fun day. Well, oh, I'm not known for new school, but you can't underestimate me. You kicking ass, taking names, or what? Trying to. I'm here to get you $100,000. You're doing great, man. Today, we're doing color theory and new school. That's what I'm known for. Clean. This thing's dynamic. The balance that you have here between hot and cold, the little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. Sausage. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. This gets hard when you're in a bad mood. Like, my arm is killing me. It sucks, dude. I'm really at the end of my rope with this aggressive, competitive, weird strategy and bizarre flash challenges. If this wasn't my style of tattooing today, I'd probably already have left. How do you feel about it? Super cool. Big. Next artist up is... Please stop me. Please stop me. Please stop me. Megan Jean. Damn. What's going on? I hate being here right now. I'm completely over it. I want to go home. I am tired of living here, and I'm tired of tattooing here. I don't appreciate that attitude, because we all have families at home. We all have lives at home. And I don't think that you're respectful to the people behind you or the people in front of you. If you don't want to be here, we can take out the worst tattoo of the day and send you home. Should I critique you, or are you done? You thrown in the towel? I'm not throwing in the towel, I'm just yeah. crying. I figure I'm just gonna have a couple of days and then like, get over it. I was hoping that this would be the wind in your sail to move you forward, not for you to fall on your sword in front of us. It's tough. Thanks. Anthony. 
The subtle way that you put the timepiece into her cheek, I commend you on that. It's tasteful the way you did it. All the accents you did in the chin, very nice. The shading in this thing's great. The darkness in this thing's great. When this thing heals, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. Welcome back, Jesse. This week, you are calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're gonna do black and gray portraits. What? You convinced me from the get go. As soon as I saw your Instagram, I'm like, this dude knows how to do portraits. Clean gives me George Washington. I did not want this, but I specialize in black and gray portraits. Looks great, man. Really smooth. What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. Do it all the time. If there was a dictionary definition of a one-trick pony, it would have a picture of Jesse Smith. He might think that he went out and practiced portraits, but he just walked into a viper's den full of people who are killer at portraits. The trickiest part is just like all these little subtle wrinkles and stuff. Good. Gonna be pretty rad. This one. Oh. You need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. But One Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Jesse, let's begin with you. I really love the tattoo, and I honestly can't believe that this is the same artist that did Black and Gray that we saw in season two. I felt it necessary to prove to you guys that I could do a legitimate portrait. I completely applaud you for having the balls to come back in here and call this your shot. Great job. Christian. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Anthony. It's evident that portraits are your thing. The softness of the shading where you can't see it start or finish is great. All in all, the interpretation on this, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the divot you have in the left side of the cheek, that tiny little highlight that you captured, it's a great job. Sausage. I love this tattoo. I love what you've done with the hair. I love the details in the tie. In this particular photo, his eyes are looking in slightly different directions, and you capture that in your tattoo. If you go down to that neck and you look at that highlight and the little white hairs that are showing off that, I didn't miss that. That thing's sick. Probably the best tattoo you've done here so far. Kristen, you're up first. Come on over. Tell us what you did here, man. This is more than just for the other, uh, all of you guys. I kind of actually specifically did this a little bit for you, Dave, because I feel like a lot of times you're a swing boat, they're more technical. Um, I wanted something that was really dark and beautiful. Um, and this is based on a classic ballet. It's about a young girl who is uh, chosen by her tribe uh, as a sacrifice, and she dances herself to death for the god of spring. Right as spin, right? Stravinsky? Yeah. Nice. Christian, I think the juxtaposition between the black and gray and the color is really nice. I also love the way that you have the silhouetted figures dancing behind to make those roses come forward. It's really great play with dark and light. I think you did great. Thank you. Let's take a look, man. What do you got there, bud? Talk to us. Tell us about your tattoo, man. Uh, she's a singer, so I really wanted to just kind of give her something that she would love, and you know, she really loves music, and. I just made it 100% Clean Rock One style. Right on. Overall, it's a beautiful sleeve. Anthony, come on down. Tell us about this, man. So going up against these guys, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't slack. You know, I really had to be strategic, competitive. I wanted to represent where I was raised and being brought up by a single mom. The wolf actually represents my character kind of throughout the season, observing everything and planning my attacks. Wow. Chris. Anthony, I love the tattooing and I love the story that it tells. That woman's face is beautiful and the markings, the space that you have behind her head and the markings on her face really work and they're really beautiful. The hot and cold juxtaposition of the colors are great. It's actually my favorite sleeve. Wow.
We assigned you Japanese. Talk about it. Even though I had an open canvas, I really wanted to give him something that he likes as well. He has to wear it for the rest of his life. So during the competition, Dave, you did mention you wish to see more of the dragon, the full body. So I gave you that and then some with hopes to redeem myself. All right, man, thank you.